Hi, I'm Scott Javi, Assistant Director of Handicap and Course Rating Administration. Today we're out here at Chambers Bay Golf Course, site of the 2015 U.S. Open. At the USJ we get a lot of questions about course rating, and today we're going to show you what it's all about. There are 10 obstacle factors rated on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 meaning the obstacle does not exist, and 10 meaning the obstacle is a significant factor on the whole. Here at Chambers Bay, there are a few obstacles that do not come into play, such as water hazards and trees. We have the one lone tree on the golf course here. But other obstacles, such as bunkers and extreme rough, more than make up for it. The course rating procedure involves rating the golf course for both the scratch and bogey golfer, and how the various obstacles affect each player. The state and regional golf associations play a critical role in the course rating procedure. Today, the Washington State Golf Association is out here to show us how it's done. First thing we do is evaluate what we see out there from the tee area. On each hole, the team stands on the tee to determine the difficulty of the tee shot for the bogey and scratch golfer. There is an unusual pot bunker to the left. It'll be interesting to see what some of the depths of these bunkers are once we get down there. The team then moves to the landing zones of the bogey and scratch golfers. Here we are at the uh, scratch golfers landing zone and we are looking at the uh, width of the fairway. And then we check the rough height to see how easily it is to play out of. Finally, the team moves to the green to evaluate the obstacles around the green and measure the dimensions of the green. The team should determine the green speed using the stint meter and evaluate the contour of the green. So you've got a pretty small target up there left or right. If you see this pot bunker over here, that's a pretty deep pot bunker, so we're going to have an E adjustment. That's E for extreme. After the rating is complete, the state or regional golf association will calculate their ratings based on the numbers collected by the team and then review and issue the ratings to the club. I think this is a very tough hole. They're going to have a tough time playing into the prevailing wind here. The USGA handicap system would not be able to function without the support of the state and regional golf associations and their dedicated course rating volunteers. Their work ensures that golfers of all skill levels can compete together on an equitable basis for the enjoyment of this great game.